All right, so tonight I've had this project that I've wanted to do for a while, and that's build a laser. I don't have anything to do, so I'm going to do that. And why not share it with you guys? Oh. Got him. On another note, if you guys haven't seen these or tried one of these, they're the electronic bug zappers. You should definitely own one. They're sweet. You'll never be more satisfied killing a bug, let me tell you. Alright, so let's get all this shit out of the way here. Turn the light. What you'll need to build a laser is heat shrink. It's good for all kinds of stuff. You'll need possibly a razor, soldering gun, uh, Pepsi. You're going to need a host. I chose to go with a host that I actually haven't even seen yet, so I'm not sure what it looks like. So this is going to be a learning experience for us all. I've chose to go with a smaller hose, since this is going to be like a... With the driver that I'm using, it's probably going to be like a 2.5 at the most, 1.9 watts at the lowest. So between 1.9 and 2.5 watts. Um, so you're going to need a hose, this is what's going to house the laser. I actually was able to find somewhere that I can get an extension to this so I can run two batteries at once which will make it like yay long. Not really sure what this is. I'm um, gonna need a lens, cap to the lens. This is actually a focusable lens to uh, basically diverge your laser beam. Mini me, stop pumping the laser. Uh, this is going to be the driver. This is, oh, there goes the driver. This is going to be one of the more important parts of the laser. You're going to need this to drive the laser. Driver. This is a preset driver that is set right at 1.8 amps which is exactly what I was looking for for the most important part of the laser which has disappeared huh which is the laser diode and that's pretty much all you need other than a candy bar so still eating my candy bar but I've gotten, I've made some progress, don't worry. I'm, I've, I'm getting closer. Let me just say this before. Let me go and try to figure out how to build a laser. Because with this setup right here, I don't care if it's a freaking laser pointer that you use in class or it's a laser that's made to melt tanks in half. They're all deadly for your eyes. Your seeing balls will be no more. So wear some protection. Be careful. Don't do anything dumb with your soldering iron. Like let it fall on the carpet. I don't want to be responsible for somebody out there burning their mom and dad's house down. <laughs> I feel horrible. Also, one thing I forgot to mention that you'll need is you'll need solder. I like using a 4060 resin core um, to use for like small wires, like on this driver. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, you might be able to see it. I like using the smaller solder. I don't know if you can see that or not. If it'll focus. Um, it seems to do a little bit of a better job and has a little bit of a lower melting point. First thing you're going to do, let me see if you can see this. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take your host apart. 
There's all kinds of different hosts out there that you can find. You can use a mag light if you wanted to. It just depends on what kind of laser you're going to build. I've seen people build lasers with mag lights that are like up towards the 16 watt range, which that's, I mean, what are you going to do with that? You take your host apart. This is your uh, heating, um, your heat sink. This is what you're going to put your diode in. You can get these driver pills right here to where they're either drilled or not drilled, which is nice for the wires and they can be set in. Which I'll show you as we go along here. There should be. Some of the hose will come with a lens. You're going to take out everything that you need. Take all that stuff out. So you're going to put your driver inside of this little copper ring. It's going to seat right in there. You're going to put this through. The gold ring like this. And push it in to place. You don't need a fancy soldering iron. I got this one at AutoZone for like $7.99. Nothing fancy. I've used the shit out of the thing though for all kinds of projects. Put that there. Make sure you're not soldering around anything extremely flammable like drone batteries and paper. Now I don't know what kind of solder you guys like to use, but I like to use the stuff that's the lead based. 6040 like I said. So that being said, when you're soldering with lead based solder, you don't want to inhale it. So turn on the fan real quick. Die out while it's heating up. This part you want to be really careful with is your diode. Whatever kind of diode you end up getting, doesn't really matter. Still want to be careful with them. Not to pull the pins out of the diode. So you take your diode and you slide it into the pill. Or the heat sink, sorry. Ever so slightly, make sure everything's tight. Be careful with the wires. And you want to slide it all the way through until it just pops out. Use a small Allen wrench to tighten the heat sink. Make sure you get it really good and tight. That way it absorbs as much heat as possible. And whenever you guys are running a laser, if you start to feel your heat sink get the slightest bit hot, you really need to shut it off because it's just going to burn the diode up. Alright, now that the soldering iron's hot, I'm going to clean your tip real good. It seems like a soldering iron always works best if you have a little bit of solder on the tip already. Alright, you want to do this with very little solder. You don't need a whole lot at all. Just enough to ground it out, basically. Make sure it doesn't go through to the other side. Now that that's done, you want to take your driver, put it through your pill, So, this takes a little bit of force to get it in. You can use pliers if you have to. You can see that. Uh, it's pretty much flush. So, then what you're going to want to do is. Put your, put your diode <clears throat> and heat sink into the front. Then you're going to want to 
find some heat shrink that is the right thickness. Something like that. Cut it in half. Eh. <clears throat> and feed it over your wires. And then this is obvious, black to black, red to red. You're going to solder it. And it works. Heat shrink together. Don't want to catch your heat shrink on fire though. That'd be bad. Alright. <clears throat> So now the hard part's done, all you gotta do is, is put your pill back into here. Make sure that's good and solid. And you're gonna wanna feed these wires. You can cut these if you want. I leave them longer just in case I wanna adapt this diode into something else, I can. And then screw it back down. Don't let the diode spin. That should work. Doesn't have to be extremely tight, but it should look like this. Then we take this off. Put the extension on. Which looks like that. And then it goes like that. Let me get some batteries and we'll power it on. Okay, so here it is with the batteries in it. I put the G2 lens on the front. It gives you better optics for focusing. It's good for, for if you want to burn something. To get you down to the extremely focused beam. It's a great lens. I don't have my goggles right now, so I'm going to turn this on and then close my eyes and just show you how it works. Let's turn this light off real quick. extremely bright I can see it through my eyelids hopefully you can see it too just to give you a good idea what it looks like outside in the dark so you can truly appreciate how bright this thing is I'll show you the beam and then this thing is serious. Should never point a laser at this guy like that, but just so you can see it, it's just insanely bright. Thanks for watching.